Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do crock pot white chicken chili. That is like one of our favorite meals here. I don't make it that often, but I do try to make it every now and then because it's so quick and easy. So the only thing you need is, this is some boneless chicken tender. So you can just use boneless chicken breast. We got some cream cheese and half and half. That's actually added at the end when it's almost done. We got some green chilies, some shallots, some chicken broth. Uh, we also got some pepper, black pepper, black pepper, sorry about that, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, focus, chili powder, oregano, cayenne pepper, salt, corn, some white chili beans, some um, tricolor tortilla strips, and some oregano. So here Hi are guys, all I our meant to say I'm going to cilantro, prepare them oregano. and get them ready to go in the crock pot and I will catch y'all in the next clip. Okay guys, so I am back. I have cleaned my chicken. Um, I have measured out my seasoning. So in here, so I kind of put it all in one little thing. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the chicken. So I have uh, the cumin, the oregano, a little bit of cayenne pepper because the kids are going to be eating this, the chili powder, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. The recipe does call for minced garlic, but I didn't have that. So we're going to make it do what it do. The next thing we're gonna add is the um, white chili beans. Now this is the kind that's already in the mild chili sauce. Okay. Um, you can also just use plain white northern beans and you just drain that and add it to it. Uh, the recipe calls for two cans of beans, but since my kids really aren't fans of beans, I tried it before with the two cans and they felt like it was too much. Um, also, I'm going to add just like half a can of the corn. <laughs> Again, picky children. I like the corn, um, a whole can. I usually get the tiny can, but they didn't have that. Um, usually it's just too much for them because they're picky. Um, I also do the, these are the mild ones, I hope. Yeah, the mild um, focus. Diced green chili. These are the fire roast sticks. I'm gonna do a can of those. And then I also have to add half of this chicken broth because it calls for 24 ounces. So I need to add F. I need to add. I can't talk to it today. <laughs> I need to add half of this. Of course, I'll use the other half when I do my cooking for Christmas. So half of that. That's about half. You can't really tell, but that's about half. Okay. And then we're just going to stir it up. And then I'm going to add um, the cilantro and the onions. It calls for a whole onion. And again, you know, I gotta hide everything from these kids. So there's the cilantro. Here's some of the, sh I just added one shallot. Here's the onions, the cilantro. Um, this is not meant to be like a cooking video, so you might hear noise in the background, etc. So that's how we roll over here. So now, this is gonna cook. You either can cook this on low for eight hours or cook it on high for four to five hours. Since I got just the chicken breast tenderloins, I'm just gonna cook it for like four and a half. And then at that point, that's when you stir in half of the cream cheese and the half and half. Again, all the measurements I'll put down in the comment box 
so you'll get all those measurements in there but then you just cook that for 15 more minutes and then it'll be ready to serve so it's just time to set it and forget it i will show you guys the finished product okay so it has been four hours and 30 minutes the chicken is done as you can see so now whoop, smooth um, I'm just gonna break the chicken up and I'm gonna stir in one fourth cup of half and half and uh, stay in the pot girl one fourth cup of half and half and then I'm going to add the softened cream cheese it says about four ounces I usually add about six um, ounces so not the whole pack of cream cheese but majority of it so that's the next step and then it's got to cook for another 15 minutes and then it'll be ready to serve so I have added the cream cheese and now I'm gonna add one fourth cup of the half and half and then stir it and this is where you get the creamy part going for the, you know, what the traditional chicken chili looks like, as you can see. Maybe you can't see, because my camera lens is falling up, but as you can see, um, start to cream. Get that creamy consistency to it. So, of course, when this is more well incorporated and the cream cheese has melted a little better, you know, a little more, it'll look a little more appetizing, but... We're pretty much done. Like I said, I'm just gonna finish combining this in here. Cook it for the last 15 minutes. And I usually let it sit just for about five or 10 minutes because I like for everything to kind of come together before I serve it. But I will show you guys what it looks like once I add the cheese and the um, tortilla strips. So come back and see the finished product. Okay guys, this is the finished product. I added some Mexican shredded cheese and some of those corn tortilla strips and a little sprig of cilantro. So that is what it looks like. It smells so good in this kitchen. The smell while it's cooking be making you want it like the whole time it's cooking. But anyway, we are about to enjoy this. I hope you guys try this recipe. Let me know if you ever made chicken chili and let me know if you would try this recipe down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.